Hey guys, we get a ton of questions on how to organize a shop, so we've brought you in our shop to give you a little tour. Although this is not our shop, this is Ashley's shop. So every shop should start with a workbench, and it just so happens that we have a few of those plans on our website. There are so many things that we love about this workbench. First of all, it's on wheels. That's one thing when I, after building for so many years, I realized Whitney that can. if I want to keep my shop clean and organized, I need everything up off the ground and on wheels so that I can move it out of the way away from the walls. And this workbench has wheels on the bottom of it, so I can move it to work wherever I need to, and then I can also clean out behind it. It's awesome. And we also designed this, guys, to have a bottom shelf, so we're able to store our larger tools like the Craig Foreman, She's got a miter saw, she's got boxes of boxes. We can store all of those big things under there. So it just gives us more workspace, which is key. Yes, and this bench is actually a beginner build. It's super easy to build. So if you haven't built anything and you get like the three main tools that we say that you need to have, a miter saw, a Craig jig, and a drill, mm -hmm. you can build this workbench and it can be your first build and then you have something to build on. So, workbench covered, the very next thing that we would suggest is organization. One thing we learned pretty early on is that we could be a lot more efficient if we had a good system set up with our tools. So we do get comments all the time like, does your workshop always stay that clean? Of course not. We're, it does get messy when we're using it, but we have found that the more organized that we stay, the faster we can get something built. And it's easier to clean up after you get done working. If you have a spot for every single tool, then you can just put the tool back up when you're done using it, and so it's a lot easier to clean up. Both Ashley and I had standard pegboards before finding this system that we use, and this is a metal pegboard system. It is amazing. Let me it's show one on. of my, yes, please do. And these are heavy tools, guys. This is one of my favorite products that we have found well, over the years. <laughs> There we go. So this is a wall control system, and we're going to link to it in the description box below. You can get everything on Amazon. Different they, colors, too. They have these cool pegs. They're all different shapes and sizes, and they fit inside of here, and then you can adjust these little prongs, but it's totally customizable. I and and the better... <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. And the best part, too, is the standard pegboards. You guys know all the hooks and everything falling everywhere. This stays in place. It truly is one of my favorite products we have found for the shop. Mine too. Moving up. Yes, moving up. Okay, we get a lot of questions about our dust collection systems. And my shop is only the size of a single car garage, so I don't have room for a big, massive dust collection system. About two years after I started building in this shop, I had open shelving and I realized that I had sawdust on top of everything. So I decided to build these cabinets with doors and these doors, do not let any sawdust in there. So let me open, I'll show you. Like all of my tubs of screws are totally like sawdust free. Ashley's a bit of an organization freak. I am. It's not at all obvious. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my screws. I'm gonna just show you some more. This is my painting, so like wood finishing supplies and wood glue. Painting supply. And then this is like all of my stains and paint. Whoa! <laughs> Moving on. That makes me so happy. <laughs> and then this is my last one over here. I just love it. Do you have a step ladder? Okay, yeah, so I did do them <laughs> high, but I, I, I get asked that, why they're so high. I wanted them to go all the way to the ceiling so I could use the most amount of space for storage, but I also wanted to give myself room to have a pegboard, like a good size pegboard between my workbench. Awesome, and plus that's stuff you're not gonna have to pull out. 10 times on a build. You'll get one thing out, you'll be able to put it back up when you're done. So and I, I have a step ladder and I just get it out and put it away when I'm done. Going back to dust collection systems, that's a question that we get all the time. Um, so one thing is to hide it behind cabinet doors. Another thing that we like to use is shop vacs. Yes. To suck it all up. And then the biggest thing that we like to use, let me go get it, is this 18 volt blower. It's amazing. So you can pick up most of it with the shop vac and the dust in the broom, dust pan in the broom, and then you can blow it out of the shop. So not just for grass. So we have another workbench. This is actually the third, I think we have three plans on our site. Yeah. Three different size workbenches. This is number three. So there's some really cool clamp storage. Again, everything's on wheels. This is she great if you don't around. And this is great if you don't have a huge workspace in your garage because you can move it and roll it outside or whatever. If you're tight on space, this workbench actually opens up. 
So that's have pretty space. legit it's like right the there, the coolest guys. movable workbench. Yep. We are going to link to the plans for all three of these workbenches in the description box below. Okay, so storage, wood storage. So we talked about tool storage, we talked about clamp storage. We've also got to have wood storage. So anytime you build something, you're going to have scraps. And we love to put our scraps to use. Um, we have two different kinds of wood scrap storage carts on our website. Here's Ashley's. And I think the biggest thing with the storage carts is that they have wheels. Mm -hmm. Did you already share plans for this? Uh-uh. I built okay, it a so year ago. Okay, so plans are coming for this wood storage bench right And the here. cabinets. They'll come for the cabinets too. <laughs> Ashley and I have done several different kinds of garage flooring and Ashley, you want to speak on this one because this is yours. Yeah, the first time that I did a flooring epoxy on this garage floor, I did the the flex one and mm -hmm. I liked it but then this product was new a couple of years ago it's rock solid and I love it because of the look but I was told that I could put it directly onto the fleck and when I did that I don't know if it made it chip or if this product just chips pretty bad but if you're gonna work in your shop you're gonna drop tools sometimes I drop tools every now and then tape measure and it's chipping so I'm gonna figure out something else to do with this Moving on to a saw. The miter saw is one of our top used tools. I think we use it on every single project on our website, just about. Our saw of choice at the moment is this rigid compound sliding miter saw. It's pretty awesome. We're gonna show them battery storage. Those are cool. Um, we could show them battery storage, yeah. If you've got, you wanna have more than one battery. So if you've got six, these can all charge at the same time. And they're nice because if you're working off-site, like, you know, if you have to go to your sister's house and she doesn't have a lot of batteries, then you can, you can take, the take it off the you. wall and go plug it in at her house and use it there. <laughs> it's really cool. So if you're starting a workshop, I think the first thing that you need is the three tools that we recommend. Yep. A miter saw, a drill, and a Craig jig, mm -hmm. and then build yourself a workbench and get a pegboard. Yes. So those are like the, just to start out, that's the basics, yeah. I think. And then from there, you can build everything. I think we've covered just about everything. We've yeah. given you the keys to go make your shop, and you don't have to have a dedicated space. You can just take over the garage like I did at my house. Make Or you can make a mo mobile workbench station. That's all right. Go outside. So, thank you guys for stopping by. We hope this was informative and helpful. Whitney's Shop's next. It is, so be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss it.